are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, here we go again. ESPN just can't get out of their own way. The people at ESPN are just triggered by any and everything. Let's just call it what it is, guys. ESPN is a political company. That's exactly what it is. Sports is secondary over there. These are talk shows that they actually have on ESPN. They are super duper woke. That actually brings us to uh, Jay Williams. Jay Williams is, he's probably the second ESPN person to actually be triggered by Mount Rushmore. Now, last year, uh, woke um, the former NBA player that's actually over there, Jalen Rose, made a whole video about stop using Mount Rushmore. Yes, because these people, man, truly do not love their country. Mount Rushmore has four great presidents up there. Now, the reason why Jay Williams actually said uh, we need to stop using it is because everybody didn't have freedoms in his country. Also, it's not the four greatest presidents of all time. Now, you're never going to come to a conclusion of the four greatest presidents because that is very, very subjective. But however, Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. That's really good right there. It, you probably can't do much better than that. Let's just call it what it is. But over on ESPN First Take, Jay Williams calls for everybody to stop using the term Mount Rushmore. Now, they're actually talking about um, Steph Curry and LeBron James. Now, they're actually going um, head to head here in their second round series in the NBA playoffs. Uh, the Lakers and LeBron James they're actually up one nothing. Now, they're talking about Steph Curry being on the Mount Rushmore. Now, guys, you guys know I'm no LeBron James fan. I'm not. But even if Steph Curry wins this series, there's no way in hell that Steph Curry is going to go down as a better player than LeBron James. It's just not going to happen. Steph Curry has never been considered better than LeBron James. I can't believe I actually have to defend LeBron James here. But I believe that the media starts making up stuff like this. Steph Curry is not LeBron James. Let's be clear about that. But let's go ahead and listen to uh, woke Jay Williams right here. Yes, please. Let me handle one thing off the top before I address you, Mr. Yes, Stephen sir. A. Smith. Yes, I'm yes, sitting sir. in your chair today. I feel the power. <laughs> <laughs> feel it? Can we first off just stop with the Mount Rushmore talk? They're not even the four best presidents this country has ever had. Everyone in this room was not even able to vote. I just want to say that off the top. Okay, wait a minute. He just said, not everybody in this room. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is 2023. I'm pretty sure if all of the employees in that studio are American citizens and over the age of 18, they're not criminals, they can vote. Uh, Jay Williams, who's actually stopping anybody from voting right now? I just, I just want to answer to that. That's our metric for success? That's our king? I'll leave that conversation for another day. We just use this yeah, as a metaphor. I, 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 I understand. Got it. I just had to. I'm with you. I had to I'm say with you. I had to say Okay, Which? now to you. I've been waiting to say this line to you for so long. Stay off the weed, <laughs> Stephen A. You know how I know you? I need to you try some. I, know I you need get to try some. Go ahead. You get people talking. You didn't even make the claim that he is going to be in the top five, top four of the Mount Rushmore. You just said the discussion. The discussion, kudos to you, elevates everybody to talk about it. Yeah, Steph Curry is not going to be in the discussion for Mount Rushmore. No, he's not. No, he's not. I mean, right here, Stephen A. Um, has LeBron, I guess. Then he has MJ, Kareem, and Bill Russell. Uh, Magic Johnson is a better player than Steph Curry. I digress on that. But still, this 
is ridiculous. Jay Williams, ESPN pushing propaganda yet again. I am not surprised in the least bit that they would actually go after, you know, American monuments. You know, in 2020, all of the votes out there were actually destroying American monuments. They were even destroying monuments of uh, black people like uh, Frederick Douglass. You know, the Marxists out there, this is what they do. And these people on ESPN, Jay Williams, Jalen Rose, they take no pride in their country. Now, he's talking about people couldn't vote. Okay, he was talking about people in this room. That's what he was saying. But even if he would actually talk about people um, back in the day, I hate to be a historian. I really do. I'm not a historian. I don't know all the ins and outs of being a historian. But guess what? When it came to um, actually voting, you go back to like 1789, it was mainly property owners were the ones that were actually allowed to vote. So even if you were white and you didn't own property, guess what? You weren't voting. And actually one state, I believe um, New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken, 1789, they also allowed black people to vote as well. The whole voting thing gets kind of complicated because it's kind of a state by state thing. It was. But Jay Williams, man, pushing propaganda out there. This man is pathetic. This man is really, really pathetic, man. This anti-American sentiment being triggered by monuments in this country. It needs to end. I mean, the votes out there ended up getting Abraham Lincoln's statue removed from New York City. Yes, the man that helped free the slaves. The woke Democrats removed this statue in New York City because they said it was, it was offensive, even though it was actually um, former slaves who actually commissioned it. Yeah, woke Democrats got that removed because they found it offensive. But however, the free um, black slaves, former slaves, they didn't find it offensive. I got a problem with this, man. This whole cancel culture of American history, not taking pride in country. I hate it. I really, really do hate it. And this really makes me despise ESPN even more. Just when you thought that ESPN couldn't get any worse. They do get worse. They absolutely do worse. And guys, go up and uh, look up uh, voting here in this country. Yeah. Not everybody always had the right to vote, but what Jay Williams is pointing at is black people. It was more than just black people. It was. Of course, they don't want to tell you that, but it's the truth. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, ESPN is anti-American. My goodness. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.